A popular movie is now a Broadway musical. Moulin Rouge opened Thursday. And TV 1055's Dick Brennan has tonight's Broadway buzz. This is more than a nightclub. The Moulin Rouge is a Moulin Rouge, the musical, takes you to Bohemia, and dozens of pop music tunes are used to tell the stories of love, deception, and artistic expression. Based on the 2001 movie that starred Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor, the Broadway musical stars Karen Olivo and Aaron Tveit as the lovers who meet at the famed Paris nightclub. The essence of Satine is probably uh, a loyal fighter. Uh, you know, she's someone who's sort of carved her world out of nothing, and has uh, become the most sought after performer and courtesan in Paris. With an elaborate set designed by Derek McLean, Moulin Rouge the musical gives theater goers a feeling of being there. All you have to do is look in this theater and I think you can see, uh, you can imagine how excited we are to be here. I mean, this is really um, an incredible thing and to see a production realized in this way, translated to stage, is really, really special. No matter your sin, you're welcome here. This is my 18th Broadway show, and I've never, ever been a part of anything like this. It is spectacular beyond spectacular. Actor Danny Burstein is the ringmaster in this world of music and mystery. I play Harold Ziedler, and he is the impresario of the Moulin Rouge, and he's sexy and gritty and tough. I am an artist. You should quick at that. Art and influence play a role, and the famed artist Toulouse Lautrec was there to show the world. A lot of times he had to be on the outside of things that were happening, and he took it upon himself to paint it, and then he offered the world a window inside before selfies. Alex Timbers is the director of Moulin Rouge. You know, we sort of wanted to obviously embrace the, the club and fin de siècle of Paris, but also push into a kind of heightened deluxe maximalism um, and make something that felt exotic and exciting and dangerous and visually thrilling. I think the most important thing about Moulin Rouge is that it's a story about love, and it deals with love in every conceivable aspect, and I think that's what audiences respond to. More than 70 songs are in the show, so choosing the right music was key. I was really excited about um, digging through the last century of the, the pop canon um, because at the end of the day what Puccini was doing and what Lady Gaga is doing now are n not dissimilar. And you hear people's reaction to this, to what they're hearing and like the gasps and like you know they're going on their journey as well while they're watching our, our, our story unfold. The creative team hopes to leave a lasting impression. It's that floating idea of feeling like anything is possible, feeling like that love that you feel and that wondrous love that you feel is possible. And a desire for audiences to have an exhilarating experience. In the Theater District, Dick Brennan, TV 1055. Moulin Rouge the Musical is at the Al Hirschfeld Theater on 45th Street.